All right, here we go. This is my first video. A little new series coming at you on YouTube. My life as an entrepreneur. So I'm 33 years old and I've been an entrepreneur now since I was 26. And I've had a couple years of making six figures, but I have not hit it big yet. I have not hit it big yet. Now, over the last six years though, I have created a plethora of income streams. I make money from selling books. I make money off the podcasts. I make money on content. I have a rental property. I have dividend income. I make money from my coaching business. I make money doing real estate deals. And every year, it seems like a different source of income is my main source of income, you know, and it's just, it's, it's, it's good, but it's not good. It's not good because I'm trying to do too much. I'm spreading myself out too thin. And when you spread yourself out too thin, you don't give all of your energy, all of your time and all of your attention to that one thing that can hit a big. So I'm documenting my entrepreneurship journey on the way to having a $1 million a year. And I think the hardest part about entrepreneurship is like knowing what the fuck you should do. That's the hardest part about entrepreneurship is like, what do I do if my calendar is empty? So as a content creator, as a life coach, as a podcaster, as an author, it's like, what do I do when I have three hours of empty space in my calendar? I don't know, Zach. What's the highest value task? Or what's the task that puts money into your pocket, right? Or what's a task that you can do one time that will continue to produce money or continue to produce results in perpetuity, right? And I, I just don't know that, and that that's, that's the hardest question to answer. It's like, what do I do with my time? So this year in 2023, this was a pretty good year. Honestly, this was a good year financially for me, made over six figures. And if I had to break down that six figures, it would look like real estate, 40, 50,000 life coaching, like 50,000 and then podcast money, brand deals, real estate income, dividend income. There's definitely a couple things I've forgotten about, but definitely made like over hundred, definitely made over a hundred thousand maybe close to 120, maybe 130. But I, I really don't work that much, right? Because I wake up early, I do my Ironman training, I work from eight to noon-ish, and then I just screw around. And then in the afternoon I go to the gym or I go to Panera Bread and hang out with these like 75 year old guys that just talk about politics and and business and the economy or I, you know, go to the sauna or I go to the beach, you know? So I'm really trying to get focused on like, what can I do if I have a blank calendar? And content is a good answer. Creating content is a good answer of what I can do to create traction in my business. But this is the thing, content does not put money in your pocket. Long term it does. If you provide a lot of value, it does. If you do it for a long time, it does. But you don't see the results of that instantaneously. And you don't even see it a year from now. But recently, over the last month or so, I had a couple reels go semi-viral. 
one of my reels right now is sitting at just under 700,000 views. And it was a video of me walking into Dunkin' Donuts asking them what they do with the donuts right before they close. And this reel went semi-viral because of the reel that preceded it, which is of me sniffing donuts and not eating them. And, you know, is that something I do? No, that's not something I do. I don't do that, okay? But it was something I did that day to increase my self-discipline and willpower muscle. That's what I did that day. And I was like, hey, you know what? This is going to be a good piece of content. This is going to strengthen my discipline and willpower. And it did because that week I didn't eat any sweets. And I know I didn't eat any sweets because on Friday when I have a, a call with my accountability partner, my life coach, the person that I speak to on a weekly basis, I was telling him how great I've been doing it, not eating dessert, not eating sweets. Um, so where am I going with this? I'm going with this in the sense that because some of my content has gone semi-viral recently, I've gotten a lot of followers from it and leads are coming through. So, <coughs> and sorry, I'm a little bit sick, I'm a little sick, but I've now seen the power of content and how beneficial it can be to your business. And as an entrepreneur, and as someone who's building a personal brand, and as someone who is not only trying to make a lot of money, but trying to make a big impact, have to be on social media. It is a non-negotiable, non-negotiable. So if I'm gonna do social media, might as well do it right, right? So how can I do social media right? Well. There's a lot of different philosophies on how to grow on social media. Everyone has a different opinion or a different strategy that's proven to help you grow. And I've seen a lot of different strategies and I've tried a lot of different strategies from pre-planning content to batch creating content to spontaneously creating content, short form, long form, mid form, B-roll, trendy reels, cap cut templates, you name it. You name it. Some of it's worked, some of it hasn't worked. But I think the most important thing is finding your voice. Finding your voice. What do you enjoy talking about? How do you want to get the message across, right? So, the only way that I can find my voice is by trying a lot of different things. So enter operation post YouTube video every single day, starting January 1st, 2024. So it is November 7th, November 6th. So I got about a month and three weeks to catch my cadence. I got basically a month and a half to, to, to get ready, get comfortable, be extremely prepared to post a YouTube video every single day from January 1st to December 31st. These videos are going to be very simple, unedited, uncut, raw. Okay, 100% authentic. Of me just talking to the camera. Like you're my friend and you're hanging out with me today. And I'm like, yo, my man, how are we going to make money today? And you're like, I don't know. How are we going to make money? And I'm like, all right, well, like, what do people spend their money on? And it's like, I don't know who are we talking about type of shit like that. Right. And these are real conversations that I have with friends. All right. So let's see. It's like eight o'clock, nine o'clock. I'm not really sure what time it is because my clock on my computer is all screwed up and I just keep forgetting to restart it. But let's take a look at how many subscribers we're at because I'm gonna post this video right after I record it, which is gonna be now. And we're sitting at 6,124 subscribers. Not bad, not bad. We're at 819 public watch hours in the last 365 days. And I'm confident that if I just post a video every single day of me living my life, showing my life, showing what I do, talking about what I'm working on and doing that day. 
and see where it goes from there. So, we'll see how it goes.